The beauty of the Alaskan landscape, in many ways, can be overwhelming. Miles from civilization, relying on their own skill for survival, Gus and his team have a front row seat to the untamed wilderness that has made Alaska famous. You know, the thing about bow hunting is strategy. You need to have a plan to, to take an animal with a bow. And we tried the first few days and we were seeing caribou and we were trying to get them before they entered the water and get our shot, get it on camera, and it was just too rushed. I mean, we'd see caribou, they'd be coming by, and as soon as they would step into the water, we kind of thought that was off limits and we wouldn't take the shot. And it, it was getting really tough for us to capture this on film and to get a shot at a decent ball. We saw these caribou come and there was one good bull in there, but I decided not to shoot him. Um, he's good, but I'm not really sure. I know that once a caribou's in the water swimming, you can't shoot him, but I don't know if walking in the water, you know, is the same thing. But we wound up doing now is getting back so I can catch him on the sandbar before they uh, get into the water. It might be the way to go, but uh, just an incredible sight to see the caribou crossing like that. Basically what they're doing is they're swimming to our shore, coming through the timber, and then exiting off our beach to the next landmass. So what we decided to do was to take a tent, follow the edge of the river all the way around to the other side of this landmass, and catch the caribou as they were swimming towards us. You know, with any bow hunt, you need to have a plan, but you also have to be able to adapt to the situation that you're in. We had a plan with these caribou and what we wanted to do, but the situation dictated that we needed to move to get the caribou coming to the landmass we were on rather than leaving. It was almost impossible to get a shot as they were leaving without possibly wounding a second caribou. So I thought it would be better if we got to the far side of this land we were on, this landmass, and get the caribou as they were coming to us rather than leaving where we were. Well, we spotted some caribou. And what we were doing was we were on the far, we were on the far bank. They were coming towards us and getting right in the water. So we decided to loop around the whole about two miles around from where we were, get to the other side where caribou are swimming too. So we got time now to get ahead of them because uh, they were just coming out of the bush. They was actually overran us. We were two yards away from them. I mean, just unbelievable. Pretty exciting and it's great to see this, but it's tough to get a shot with a bow before they get in the water. So we thought we circle around like we, we the way we did. We can get out ahead of them and hopefully these come across. And then there's one nice bull in there. So we make our move and we get over there and when we set up and it's just beautiful. I mean, everywhere you are here is just incredible. So we're sitting on the edge of this bank in the willows. We got a good vantage point. You can see anything, I would say, for a good half mile that was going to cross that river. Finally, we see a group of bulls crossing the river and they're coming right at us. So I grab Gonzalo. He's got a camera. I also have my son running a second camera who was gonna stay back and capture the whole stalk as it happened. But Gonzalo, who I know for a long time and know is a very good hunter, I did not have to worry about him stepping out or doing something wrong on the stalk. So I grabbed Gonzalo, I said, it's time to go. We crawl ourselves into position. I got to, it was 53 yards from where the caribou exited the water. It 
was a good bull. I was happy with the bull I saw. He presented the shot. I drew back my bow. I let go of the arrow. The shot hit him perfect. Caribou went maybe 120, 130 yards before he started to stagger. The other group came back to him once, but he wasn't going anywhere. He kind of went down and into the river, but it was just a, an incredible moment. I knew that taking a caribou with a bow was just something that I wanted to do. It was just a personal goal of mine. Getting the caribou down, getting to process him in the field, bringing him back to camp, eating the meat that night all meant so much to me and it was really gratifying to do it. I just came back and recovered my arrow but we have our caribou down and uh, looks like maybe went 120 yards on this beach. He's trying to keep up with the rest of them but uh, you can see the blood pumping out of him, so he, he was hurt. But uh, just uh, really, really thankful and humbled by uh, being here in Alaska and, and having an opportunity like this. Just, uh, I can't describe, words can't describe it. You know, this is what I came to Alaska for. You know, to see a caribou migration, this is what you I've dreamt about. And I got to see it on this trip. I shot him at 53 yards. He went a little ways down this uh, rocky beach. This is gonna be a welcome addition to camp. It's gonna be nice to have some caribou steaks tonight. A mature caribou can yield nearly 300 pounds of meat. Not a small amount, considering the guys have a two mile hike back to base camp. Even though temperatures are cool, it's vital to take good care of the meat as quickly as possible in the field to minimize any loss that may occur. And with predators such as bears and wolves in the area, the guys need to take care in making sure the meat is stored a safe distance from camp for the remaining days of this adventure. You know, when you're on a trip like this and you hear wolves howling in the background or you're seeing fresh bear scat or bear tracks, it makes you realize really how insignificant you are. Um, like I said, I made a mistake of not bringing a firearm. So if an animal did come in, we might have been at an animal's mercy, but it adds a whole different excitement to being out there in nature, to hear the wolves cry at night. Uh, again, these are things that you'll take with you the rest of your life. It just completed this trip, you know, getting a great caribou and being here with my, my buddy Gonzalo and, and my son who's running camera and three of us in a tent camp in the middle of nowhere in Alaska, hearing wolves the other night, seeing the aurora borealis last night and just getting that on camera and just this whole experience is what Alaska is about for me.